Hi guys and welcome to my channel. It's Hilla here from Saturday Night Stitch and today's post is a continuation in my Berta Baby Steps sewing tutorials. So we're basically breaking down sewing with a Berta sewing magazine into very simple basic steps. So by now you should know how to remove the pattern sheets from the magazine itself and you should also know how to read the pattern information that you find in the magazine. And if you haven't watched those, I do recommend that you go and watch them so that you can pick up from that point. So for today's tutorial, we are going to pick up from there and we're going to be looking at how to actually see which lines are your pattern pieces that you have to trace out. It may look a little bit daunting, but just stay with me. I will hold your hand through this and by the end of this, you're going to be a pro. First things first, you're going to need some tracing tools. Now here's a list of the things that I use in my tracing. A pencil. I am partial to Norris Club pencils myself. You also are going to need a scissors, a paper scissors, because you're going to be doing a lot of cutting. You'll also need a stapler. There are some pattern pieces that will be so big you need to staple two pieces of your baking parchment together. I use whatever is available in the kitchen for my pattern weights. And for your tracing paper, I personally use baking parchment because it is multifunctional. I also get to use it in the kitchen and it tends to be cheaper than, say, Swedish tracing paper. Now, your rulers are very important. These can make the tracing job easier or more difficult. And I have two. I have the narrow one and then I have got the thicker quilting ruler. So just to explain a little bit, this is more bendy and flexible, the smaller one, and the other one is a little bit thicker. If you had to choose two rulers to get for tracing, these two are an absolute must and they will make your life a lot easier as I will show you in the subsequent step. And of course, you need your magazine from which you are going to trace. This is the view from above. Do not be daunted, okay? So first of all, the different patterns will have different color pattern lines. So if you can see on there, there's black lines, there's blue lines, there's red lines, and there's green lines. And then of course, you've got that big shaded in pattern piece. And that is usually one of the sewing magazine lessons. So this is also a really great option if you're a beginner and you aren't too sure about how to trace, those ones will be very easy because they're shaded in for you. However, for this tutorial, I'm not using the shaded ones. The pattern piece I have to trace is number 1A, and it is a blue line. So if you look at the top of the pattern sheet edge, you see those numbers there? Those are reference points for where to find your pattern piece, and you have to go straight down. This is very much like reading a map. So I find my 1A along the edge, and I just go straight down, and voila, there is your 1A. A. Now, that number is always written on the inside of the pattern sheet, so you need to follow the line along. This is what I do to get an idea of how big the pattern piece is, and once your eyes and your brain recognize that this is where the pattern goes, you suddenly see it. It pops out. It's like one of those 3D pictures, if you remember those from when you were a kid. So I'm showing you again here from the bird's eye view where you sort of find where your pattern number is and then you sort of just finger trace your pattern piece to see how far out it goes and where you're going to need to lay your tracing paper. Always keep your magazine nearby because you can always refer to the magazine to see the shape that you can expect to be tracing out. And then, of course, the next thing is you want to grab your tracing paper. So that is Birda Baby Step number three done. And you are one step closer to sewing with your sewing magazine pattern. So by the end of this video, you should know which tracing tools you need in order to make it an easier job of tracing. And number two, you should also know how to see your tracing line amidst all that jumble of lines that you see on the pattern sheet. And the key is finger tracing before you get your 
tracing paper and putting it over the pattern sheet. I hope that you found this video useful and helpful. And if you did, do give it a big thumbs up down below. I always appreciate your comments and questions. So if you have any questions, do ask them in the comments box down below and I'll do my best to get back at you and answer that question. So next time I am going to be giving you some techniques for tracing. So comment, like, subscribe and share this video. And until I see you next time, guys, happy sewing. Bye.